underway for the final F3 race of the year. And they go down to turn number one. Around the outside as well now, hanging on to fifth place, Logan Sargent. That's the start he needed, but there's the contact. It's risky at turn number one, and Sargent's off the road. Sargent has gone off for the first turn. And Logan Sargent is out of the race. There's Oscar Piastri moving up into the point, and Piastri is ahead of Porcher. This is going to be absolutely manic down to turn number one as we go back to green flag racing conditions. We can see Teo Porcher has managed to get past Piastri, stick down to ninth position. On board with Teo Porcher, who's up to sixth. Vesti takes the fastest lap, he moves ahead of Oscar Piastri, who is now down to the solitary point. And trying to go around the outside, that could be a risky place to put the car, but Teo Porcher's got the grip, and Teo Porcher is up to fifth place in the race. Here's another look, here's Teo Porcher moving up to fourth position, and the championship now is tantalizingly within grasp. Will we see Fernandez fight him? Yes, we will. There's the squeeze, but it's not enough for one. Teo Porcher moving up to third position. At exactly the same moment, Porcher gets up to third. Piastri gets up to ninth. And right now, there is one point in the championship battle, but Piastri, crucially, is still ahead. On board with the championship leader. Needs a clean pass. His teammate's not going to fight him on that one. Piastri moves up to eighth position and he's got a little bit more breathing space in the championship now. An ultimate lap of the Formula 3 season. Teo Porcher is one positional improvement away from taking the title on countback. Porcher with a thrilling drive. It's good enough for third, but look back at car number one, driving to the line side by side, crossing the line to take seventh place, and the Formula 3 championship, Oscar Piastri, has won the title. Yeah! What a right, mate.